Hello everyone, this is a build tutorial video for Witch Doctor Season 6 in hex bug size. So, let's get started. So I have the hex bug saw blades. Uh, I already have taken these apart, so it won't be a full one because I can't actually build a robot for you, but so what you want to do is grab a screwdriver and yank all the piece, pieces off and take it apart. So I, for this witch doctor, I used a saw blaze, pretty much all saw blaze electronics. I will leave a part parts list in either the description or a pinned vid or a pinned comment. So you take all these screws on the bottom out. There's six screws that are necessary to be taken out. Um, you will need the screws from the Witch Doctor V2. So now you can pull this entire top section off. I've already disconnected everything, but you would be you would have to take the circuit board out from in here, out from in here. Uh, keep all the motors on it. You would have to take apart the weapon assembly, take the belts, take the weapon motor, and take the receiver out of. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's. You would have to take the receiver out of here, which I have done. You just cut it out. It's pretty simple. Then, after you pretty much just strip this of electronics, you can, if you need to, you can desolder the circuit board to get the different parts out, but you don't need the light. The light is unnecessary. So once you're done with that, you just do whatever you want with this carcass, because it's just an empty dead shell. Now, what we have to do now is we have to take the front wheels from Witch Doctor V2 and the rear wheel, rear wheels from Witch Doctor V1. Now the Witch Doctor V1 wheels are really easy. You can just use like uh, wire, very narrow wire cutters, or you could take it apart and grab the nut with pliers. Grab this with pliers and pull it out. I just stick my wire cutters in here and pry it out, but you want the pin and the wheel, and that's it. You don't want anything from the inside. Not, you don't have to take the robot apart. So that's how you do that one. Then for this one, you have to just take these, these six screws out, and then take the drive gears, so the two purple gears the one attached to the wheel, and the other one inside of here. You want to take those and put it in the frame of the Witch Doctor V6. Now that you have your electronics and your wheels, you are going to want to have a servo to solder to this. Well, I guess you could solder it. Um, so the thing is, I have had to do a lot of repairs on this robot, it's really annoying, and I've had to solder on the motor, which comes with the servo, but you have to modify the servo. So the servo you will be wanting is a long runner micro server 9 gram SG90. That's what I'm using, but the thing is you're not going to use this plug. You're going to have to, to grab a very tiny Phillips screwdriver, unscrew these four screws on the very bottom of it, unsolder the circuit board from the motor, unlike what I've done. Well actually, 
you don't have to unsolder the motor, but you take the gear off the motor and plunk it onto the motor that is the uh, arm motor for saw blades. So the one that goes back and forth, you want to put that tiny, tiny gear on the servo onto that. So then after that, you will want to push the motor back into the servo with the wires going out. You're going to need to extend your wires from that. You're going to want longer wires for pretty much everything. Well, no, just longer wires for that. And then after that, that's all you need. So that is all you need. The resistor that you'll want to put on the servo is 10 ohm resistor. You want a 10 ohm resistor on the a on the servo because it it will strip the gears inside <coughs> inside if you do not do that. It will not be fun because I have had to go through three of these stupid servos. So now assembly. So now you will want to assemble. So I have designed a entire frame for this. It is perfectly fitted. You, all you have to do is press fit, maybe add a, what I've done is I've added just a couple little black bits of foam inside each motor mount and in the gearbox right here for the wheels. That's just to keep it from rubbing. So I have perfectly fitted everything. The circuit board fits in there. The motors fit in there. So now, assembly, you just use the two screws from the saw blaze uh, circuit board. You just screw it into the two holes that are there. You also, by the way, I forgot to mention, you take the button from the bottom of the saw blaze, the on off button, and you stick that in the bottom of the witch doctor. So there's the charging hole and then there's the button. So, you do that. Everything should be perfectly uh, sized. The receiver, you might want to cut down the wires a bit and shorten them. You only need about half an inch to three quarters of an inch on the receiver wires because the hole is right there. It's very, very close to the circuit board. Now, at everything pretty much press fits. So you just, you press the self-writing stick onto the servo, you press the motors into their slots, they fit perfectly. I will, also there's a custom pulley that I will have to include as well. So for other assembly, for adding the actual parts, first the rear wheels. So you just, pick it up. You do have, to, so for one side you have to chop the metal pin back a bit because otherwise you will hit the servo and you will not be able to put the wheel in fully. So you'll have to chop it back a bit but all you do is just press it in like that. Perfect. And you just press it in on both sides. It's really easy. Um, you might have to drill out the holes, but do not make it too big or else you will have to get a new, uh, you will have to get a new frame. So you just drop the gears into here, gears in there, Mo motors, why did I say motors, wheels pop in there, the black little fuzz balls that I have in there are now keeping it from wiggling back and forth. Now depending on what weapon you want, let's just say I want the double disc. You take the weapon, the metal weapon pin from Witch Doctor V2 and you just stick it through the weapon. You might have to drill this hole out as well. Then you grab 
the smaller of the two belts from the saw blades, you want to stick that in your weapon assembly. I have found it very handy to hook it around this little jut out where the weapon sits. So then you just grab your weapon, set it on in there. Now, keep in mind, some of this might require slight razor blade trimming to get it all to fit. Like, you might have to trim the holes for the drive just tad, tad bit. So you want to then pull your weapon motor, weapon uh, belt up. It will slightly tip, but that's okay. Then you got to align the receiver into the hole, align the weapon, and align everything else. Everything should be okay inside. And then you just pop it down. Then you grab the four of the Witch Doctor V2 screws. Now, you screw it, screw it all in. This will get you to the point where you have just a stick poking out of the slot. Now, pretty much all I did was I took the skeleton, I took the skeleton of Witch Doctor V2, I cut this little pole mount off right at the base down here. Right at the base here. Cut that right off. I also cut off these little supporting struts in the center and hot glued the stick to the center of this. Just smack in the center. I do like to have it adjusted to this. So for the skeleton, I cut this, for, this first beam off completely at each side, so you just cut it vertically, and you, it's optional if you want to cut this one directly down the middle, you do not remove these two arms, but you can cut it down the middle and remove the, make it two pieces instead of one. Mine, I have as two pieces obviously, but you can keep it as one single piece. Now, this piece will just pop onto the top of your robot. These fit on pretty nicely, so you just pop them on like that. It's very nice fitting. Then your self-rider stick comes down right on top, holds them on pretty strong. The self-writing stick will look like this. You just shove this hole onto the servo to where it looks like this, with the majority of the servo being back here to the front of the self-writing stick. So then you go ahead and just test it and see if it works. That is a good sign. Cool, it works. So, you just add your cosmetic parts to it. Your skeletons. And then the wedge of your choice. I have both forks, hinged forks, and then just the traditional flat wedges that Witch Doctor uses. Once you pop those on, you are set to go. You can do whatever painting you want, whatever painting you desire. I decided to try and do the traditional Witch Doctor sponsors on the side and the back and the wedges. I did the skeleton hands. I painted the weapon. I painted the skeleton. So what I did with the skeleton, I had just a normal one of these. I painted it green, like just a very light green. I don't have it here. But I just painted it a very light green and then sanded it down just a tad bit to where it got the crackle effect that Witch Doctor has. So, that is the build tutorial for Witch Doctor Season 6. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. <laughs>